Are you sick of government lackeys who say you didn't build that? Are you tired of elitists who think you need a government permission slip for everything? Everything you do is an A to B conversation and the government should see their way out of it. Create true free markets by adopting the BIPCOT No Government License. The BIPCOT NoGov license allows use or modification of any product, service, or software except by governments or government agents. Go to BIPCOT.org. That's Bravo, India, Papa, Charlie, Oscar, Tango.org. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Seeds of Liberty podcast, episode 60. So we're going to go with Jeremy for the BIPCOT no-gov license. Yes, as always, the Seeds of Liberty podcast is covered by the BIPCOT no-government license. This allows for reuse by anyone except for governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more information about this at BIPCOT.org. So today we have Stephen Ruth, um, who is known as the Red Light Robin Hood. He's associated with Citizens Coalition for Change. Uh, it's a Facebook page, and they also have a petition on change.org. So he's going to tell us about what he's been up to lately. So, uh, Stephen, thanks a lot for coming on the show. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So I guess you guys want me to give you a rundown on what happened? And yeah, if you I, I, yeah. I saw your first video and was automatically like, this guy's awesome. The Thank one where you, you're man. like, hey, guys, all you got to do is go over here with a broomstick, and uh, you, you, you cause the state <laughs> to lose a lot of money. Yeah, we. Um, I don't think a broomstick will reach unless you're a really tall dude, but a painter's extension rod works perfect. Um, we just basically were tr attracting attention to an issue which we thought was corrupt, and uh, in further examination, we saw that not only was the issue corrupt, but all of the uh, people who voted for it were corrupt. And um, as we learned more evidence about what was going on, we saw how none of the cameras were signed off by engineers. They're program to over ticket in innocent motors and uh, they were not releasing the videos of any of the people who died in front of the cameras so um, you know I just re reattracted the uh, media attention to it by cutting the wires the uh, internet access wires the cable vision wires to the cameras because uh, I wanted to bring the media attention back and also I needed my charges to be upgraded so I can have a grand jury uh, trial and all the corrupt parties involved can be cross-examined by my attorney and then we can disinfect, disinfect this county with all of its corruption. So where it led us is to a point where they can't go to trial with me because they'll end up being the criminals like Sheldon Silver just getting convicted and sent for 12 years. I have these politicians taking way more bribe money than, poli than uh, that politician, and he just got 12 years. So they don't want to go to trial. They don't want to let go of their cash cow, the red light cameras, and uh, all we keep doing is exposing more and more corruption associated with it. So it's not just them. It's, it's, it's this county executive as well put he put three times the police force in the academy right now they're trying to militarize we know it's coming we know they're going to try and take all the guns away and uh there's no way to pay for it so that's why they were trying with the red light cameras now they're, gonna tr they're trying a water tax so they put they put another they increased the police um the police spending by 700 percent on the new budget which was just in state instituted and it's 700 percent increase in the police budget so we're, we're seeing them try and totally militarize right now with funds that they don't even have yet. They, they, they don't even have yet the, the money. They're trying to steal wow. it through red light cameras. They're losing that battle. And now they well, everything, the, water everything the state has, has is stolen. <laughs> well, right. yeah, that, that is part of the problem. They're trying to have a $75 million water tax to, to put just basically more cops on the, on the street than we need. We don't see them combating the heroin and getting anywhere. When Nassau does twice as good as us with the heroin epidemic because of the – out, we outnumber them by by uh, two to one in uh, fatalities from uh, overdose, and I know this because people say it all the time in front of me. I'm not dealing with just my issue now. I'm dealing with all the other issues because people coming to me, telling me what's going on in the county, and I'm unfortunately being dragged into it. I didn't think it was going to be much deeper than red light cameras, but now that I see as as we pull away the cash cow with the red light camera program, we see them trying to steal money in different directions, and now. We see them try and put three times the uh, police force in effect. We well, can't afford that. We're not going to be able to afford that. We refuse to afford that. And um, basically, it's it's become like it's a travesty. It's it's even the legislators are trying to say they don't want to know what he's planning on doing or why he's trying to do this. This ruler that we have, Steve Ballone, 
but uh, he's trying to increase the amount of police that we have by 700%, well, I guess. That's, that's well, well, unfortunately. Kind for, of for, the size of the police force at minimum. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, for, for people who don't know, I mean, St Stephen here is, is, is from Long Island, where I, where I am from, too, although we're, we're in opposite, we're in the other, in uh, different counties. Um, but the fact that they want to increase the police force at all is not just this well i mean it's a scary proposition from the militarization aspect but also uh nassau and suffolk county have the highest paid cops in the country as it is exactly and we didn't uh, ask for that that's just and, well, that's well, just the police union paying well, off the county executive oh, well, that's for, all well, it is well the it's police even union gives him 60 70 maybe more maybe millions of dollars of and then, then they sign contracts which really is outside the best interests of the people and we can't well, afford it. And when you go to the police stations, they all cry that they're broke, that the county's broke. Well, if the county's broke, why are they trying to put another three times the size of the average police force in effect? And well, we yeah, no, of course. But you, I mean, you want to talk about corruption. I mean, the one thing that the one thing at least Suffolk County has up on Nassau County is at least you. I mean, as far as as far as this actually matters these days, at least you guys have a sheriff that's elected. Well, he's Nassau, trying to break up the sheriff's department. Yeah, but we, yeah, but we, we Nassau County gave up that battle years ago. Nassau County is the only county in the entire country that doesn't have an elected sheriff. It's a point. It's appointed by the state. Wow, that's incredible. Because the now one, we see how in Suffolk the they're trying to break up the sheriff's department. <laughs> yes, to get rid of them. yes, because they want because if you're someone who believes in and follows the Constitution. The sheriffs are supposed to be the highest power in the in land. The land. It's not the Constitution. It's supposed to be the sheriffs. The sheriffs are supposed to have final say on everything that goes on within their, their jurisdiction. So, of course, Suffolk has been watching Nassau for years and going, hey, not only, did they, not only did they pull this off, but they've gotten away with it and nobody's saying anything. So guess cool. what? Why shouldn't we try to do it, too? Because once you lose that, I mean, it, I mean, it's bad. Because I mean, you, I mean, you've lived here long enough. You know the story. I mean, Nassau County was atrocious. We, they had, they had the, one of the most corrupt uh, officials ever to walk the face of the planet. Not, not only was like finally railroaded out, but came back and tried to run for another office last two years ago. What the heck was his name? County executive from, uh, from Nassau County. I can't. Whatever the heck his name was. Tom Swazi or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ran the place into the ground for years, and then yeah, the Swazi come, administration, right? Yeah, and then tried to come, and then tried to come back as another, uh, as as an for another position. Fifteen years later, and people were voting for him. People were in people That's were supporting the him. Packs <laughs> give them so many millions of dollars to spend, so many hundreds of thousands of dollars to spend, and Glenwood Management, the camera company, gives them so many, so much money to spend if they just agree to play ball. Well, that. Now, in reality, someone like me, if I was a prosecutor, I'd be able to get them life in prison just by cross-examining them and uh, digging dirt up on them. Well, it's crazy. Yeah, have you experienced any blowback, like from local reps or the police or anything? Oh uh, yeah, well, I, I've been experiencing. I've been getting tickets in the mail, and all my taxes are being reassessed. Oh, oh of course. Oh, the shady cats mm -hmm. trying to go head you on with us. Go on uh, my YouTube channel and see the video of us confronting some. Uh, so we don't even know what they are, and. Uh, that was a that was an interesting. Night. Oh yeah, well, uh, I'll I'll grab that link from you guys too when we're done. Or I wanna, Today, I put that speech up I gave, and in my speech, one of the legislators tried to uh, lie and say that it wasn't true what I was saying. Then I uploaded another video right after and proved him to be lying. So you guys should check that out; it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, what yeah, you're gonna find is all it was these guys. Kind of crazy. It was a good speech, but the the best part about the speech is that the legislator was trying to lie, and I had the video evidence in my phone, so that right after the the speech, I uploaded the video showing that he was lying that in my original examination of the intersection after the fatality i saw that the sign was re just re uh, or the the sign that was a uh, warning of uh, the cameras had just been installed after the fatality so i proved that in my video and um and i and i uploaded it so you can check that out it's pretty interesting you know, we, down where i live we have red light cameras but like you know where they are from like a mile away it's like a billboard flashing hey red light camera ahead is basically like hey don't go to this intersection that's basically what it says they flash you too. <laughs> well yeah yeah well not yeah but not not everywhere though that but like you said though they they in situations like cuz he cuz originally when these things became an issue uh a lot of people like myself were just like well we're just not going to pay them because technically 
you don't have to. They're not, it's, it's a third party that is trying to collect this money. They don't actually work for the county. They're a, they're, they're a separate, they're, they're, they're a sub, they're a contractor. That's all they are. They're contracted to do work for the county. But what you, but, but the thing with your story is you actually took it beyond you're just yourself and saying, Oh, I don't care. You know, I'm not going to pay it or I'm going to pay it. It's going to suck. It's not going to suck. Whatever. You were more, you were more concerned about the, the actual damage that was being done with these things and not just through the, yeah, I knew through I the revenue in court. I knew well, I'd be able to kick their asses in court because I, t- I talked to my lawyer about it after the video was going viral and I thought I'd get locked up. I talked to my lawyer about it. He goes, yeah, yeah they'll charge you with OGA and tampering. And I was like, what's OGA? He said, obstruction of governmental administration. I said, what do you think? He says, those cameras are illegal and unconstitutional. With me as your lawyer, they can't do shit to you. I said, oh, yeah? He said, absolutely. I said, so what do you think? He said, I think that if you're taking on the program, you're doing a great thing, kid. Well, no, that's well, exactly, because the, the where they have unconstitutional. Well, well, yeah, where they have been overturned. Uh, I think Florida is one of them. I know a couple of states have overturned them completely, and every time it was on constitutional grounds. Now, was what's that? And there was always corruption. Oh well, the, well, un, well. Unfortunately, the one th- I, the one thing I guess you guys are learning now that you're so that you've gotten so involved in this is there's always corruption at every level, and it's actually it's actually sometimes even worse at the local level. Now I know this because I actually tried to run for office on the Libertarian ticket here in Nassau County a few years back, and I got to see up close and personal how disgusting not even just the state politics, but the literally the, lo- the local politics, how corrupt it is, and how everybody totally. just wants their money. But with these cameras, like, you know, they they have been tossed out in certain places. The problem here in New York is not enough people fight back. And most people are just more upset about the money, whereas you took it upon yourself and said, well, no, it's not just the money. People are actually dying at these things. Yeah, and, well, I saw, I saw that there was a lot more shrines on the side of the road by cameras. Well, yeah, because mm-hmm. and that's the thing. Everybody panics because they know right. these things right. are installed. I mean... The thing that surprises me the most that the fact that you actually have to still be out there and doing this right now is that when this school... I shouldn't have to be still like twisting well, no, their arm to take well, no, down no, the cameras. Yeah, but not even that. I'm, but just like because I'm not even talking about that, like the, the 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 bureaucrats. Forget about them. They're they're just going to keep doing whatever they do until there's enough pressure, and then they'll finally change. But the rest of the population here on Long Island, like there was enough people who got up in arms about the school cameras when they tried to install those right. last year. And it was only because they they pulled a really scummy move and turned them on a month ahead of schedule and didn't tell anybody. And then all of us started com- coming home to find two, three, four tickets a day from running these things. Because I'm somebody, I have, a, I have a pet sitting company. I drive back and forth a lot. So I cover the same ground all day long. So I was getting I was getting a ticket at the same camera five times a day when I had no idea it was there because they weren't supposed to turn them on yet. But enough people stood up about that one and were mad that they had to they had to take them away. I just don't understand why enough people haven't gotten up in arms about the red light cameras too because it's because I have no idea why. I've been offering people, begging people to, to help, not to leave me fighting alone. Yeah, we, we still have trouble getting people to join. It's crazy. Us. We need we need people to show up at uh, all the town halls. And all yeah, the we need people to show up at every meeting. All the meetings, people aren't showing up. Yeah, well, they all want to. They all want to like support you on Facebook, but that's on it. Facebook, and then mm-hmm. it just just ends there. Well, well yeah, it comes when they go against tough. The tough gets going. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of heat involved too. It, it, you know, if you watch the video that's on my channel, you'll see what we're up against. It's not. It's kind of crazy what's going on. You're up against uh, up against what is clearly a fascist situation right here. You have a government and local government paying a corporation to extort civilians. Yep. That's essentially what they're doing. It needs to stop. Now, yeah. you guys know about John Lang in Fresno, right? Uh, I'm not familiar, no. Yeah, That's the guy who exposed no. to something, and the cops killed him, and, and they had that, that van, and it had that big fucking <laughs> camera. With the, it had like the infrared. It, yeah, it was a heat, thermal heat, that, heat in imaging, I believe it was, thermal imaging camera. He posted on Facebook, I believe the Fresno, cro- crooked Fresno cops are going to kill me sometime this week. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy, yeah. yeah. And then he was found dead, stabbed to death in his house, burning down. Because cops, they, they know to burn the house to destroy the evidence. So, you know, what a coincidence mm-hmm. that not only was he stabbed, but all the, the whole scene was burned to the ground. 
Yeah. yeah well, of course they do. They, no. I mean, they deal with it all day. They know how to cover up anything. Well, they, they had to take it, you know, for, for criminal justice. It's, you know, forensic anthropology and all that shit. You know, they learn all about the fibers and the hairs and all that shit. I mean, I, I know you got to stand your ground as a man and say, look, this is wrong. This is, uh, this needs to stop. But I mean, you also have to think as a rational human being that there are people out there that want you to be dead for saying this shit. Yep. And, oh yeah, without a doubt, it does make me nervous. So it's, uh, it's upsetting. You, like, you got like an aunt or an uncle you can go like go live with, uh, like for a few months. Yeah, you know, later. I was thinking about going over to Europe for a little while and spend a little time in Europe. But um, you know, I know that to be honest with you, the people and the amount of money involved will follow me to whatever end of the earth I travel try to travel to, and they'll be able to follow me via my my traveling like my passport. Wow. So. There's no real reason for me to leave and be traveling when I'm probably more vulnerable in my travels. Yeah. Oh no. You abs- Unfortunately, mm-hmm. if if history tells us anything, um, just about the you know the the United States government in general, much less the you know the the local one. Um, yeah. They will. You'll doubt. You're definitely more vulnerable if you leave. <laughs> if I leave, right? Yeah. Here, I'm like when I call I call my son when I'm coming home. He calls me when he's coming home. I cover him from the car to the house. Yeah. Um, well. The fact well, that my dog disappeared yeah. kind of sucks that my German Shepherd disappeared, but um. Oh, that see, I did, I I, heard, I only heard briefly about that. That that I in that that's just yeah. My German yeah, Shepherd disappeared. disappeared. Also, I have I have a lot of support yeah, in Europe. Man. Apparently, I have a ton of support in Europe and Australia. Yeah, he's got more support. Well, in- let nah. me tell you something. There's, I mean, I had obviously heard your story since I since I live here, but when we got. The because uh, the the I know the free uh, the free thought project uh, just did a story on you recently and I'm uh, yeah. we're friends we're friends with some of the guys that write for them yeah great uh, guys and when he presented when he when they presented it to me and they're like you got to do something about this I'm like well you don't understand I'm like I wanted to talk to him anyway because I live here but I found that there that I have connections all over the country that were sharing your story so you right. have you have support across the like I said I mean our 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 a uh, you know our listener base goes because we do you know we're we're a podcast so we're on YouTube and also uh, uh you know on a, as a as a podcast and we have people that download ourselves all over the world which is another reason I wanted we get to get downloads in Russia we get downloads because everywhere man that is you know as Thank scary you well no problem but I mean as, as scary as I'm, as I'm sure it is I mean like I mean I said before we started I mean I I have a you know, target on my back because of the things that I say on a regular basis. I know that I've accepted that. But the most, what you're doing right now is the only thing you really can do is just keep getting out there and talking because if you try to hide, if you try to run, that's when they'll end up finding you. At the, you know, as long as you're out there continuing to speak the same truth over and over and over again, yeah, they may try to stop you, but that just means more people are listening, more people are paying attention, and more people will see exactly what they're doing to you. Well, also, I think a lot of people right. want to wait and see what happens with this. If there's a peaceful back down from Long a- from the Long Island, you know, uh, government, if there's a peaceful back down and everything goes back, and you know, they don't, you know, uh, throw you in a jail well, or local, kill you or something. Township, um, the local township, I I went there and I I kind of um, I got in the face of one of the employees when he said he's not affected by the account program because it's been my accusation all along and in my understanding that there's a whitelist, the Xerox whitelist, where these politicians or employees of government are uh, immune. immune from red light camera tickets. And uh, what happened, I, I, I went and I accused one of them of, I said to him, I said, you know, you guys are right up the block from this red light camera where people are getting killed because it's a two and a half second yellow turning arrow. And he said, the red light cameras don't affect me. I said, they affect you and they affect your family. And he says, no, they don't affect me and they don't affect my family. So I said, well, then you're probably on the white list. And I got into an argument with the guy and I called him some names and he kept saying, well, you cursed at me. You cursed at me or some shit. And, uh, <laughs> Not and basically an argument, after so. that, people called me that work for the town over here, Crookhaven. They call it Crookhaven. It's really called Brookhaven. <laughs> but um, – <laughs> they told me that if I start going to their local town meetings and not just the legislature meetings, if I focus my attention on the town meetings, that they were going to cuff me, mace me, and beat the shit out of me. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah okay. Well, that's televised. So you know now that that, uh-huh. that was basically an invitation for me to go there and bitch you. So <laughs> I'm going to go there, and I'm going to continually bitch them, and I'm going to do know, it. It's, <laughs> it's so funny. It's uh-huh. like it's like. <laughs> They got your arm behind your back, your head slammed against the wall, and you're like, hey, fuck you, buddy. And they're like, how dare you use this language? 
while I'm literally fucking you and robbing you. This guy, nice. this guy doesn't give a fuck about you. <laughs> no, really, well, neither do we. We're anarchists when we have a podcast, okay? <laughs> and we live in we live in we live in the socialist empire of America, okay? We're, we're trust me, we, we 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 lay it out a lot too. <laughs> this guy goes to jail smiling. <laughs> this guy they put him in a cell. He's happy. He doesn't give a shit. Let, let, let me, well, when you're right, right, when you're right, they can only do so much to you. When you're right, they can. Only... Well, yeah, when you're right, exactly. The police officers are congratulating me and thanking me. It's not like they're fucking telling me I'm a scumbag. They're thanking me for my efforts. So. Upon Whoa. first initial contact, the police officers told the, the police officers upon first initial contact back in August 25th told me the captain and lieutenant are calling you a hero. I said, yeah. They said, absolutely. You're mm. going to see what we're talking about. And I didn't know the depth of it, but now I do. They know the difference. Back when we had six-second yellow lights, there was a hell of a lot less people dying. Now that we have three-second yellow lights, people are fucking dying. And they don't want more people mm. dying, so they don't care about the money. That's all political bullshit. The cops give me respect because of the accidents happening. And they know via their own wow. families getting tickets that these cameras are fucking bullshit. So yeah. that's well, why the police give me respect. The sheriffs give me respect. But yeah, back but they, to the uh, politicians, they get no respect. And the ones that just threatened me, I'm going to consistently bitch them until they're, com they're totally elected out of office or impeached or whatever we got to do to them. And we're not going to stand for a $70 million water tax. They can kiss our asses. The hole that they dig for themselves <laughs> is their hole. They can go dig themselves a bigger well, hole and throw themselves in it. I don't give a shit. We're not paying a $70 million water tax. If we have to all dig wells on our own properties, that's what we'll do. We're not going to put up with a $70 million water, water tax. That, I remember uh, when they'll I was they'll outlaw that, that or it probably already is outlawed. What's that? Yeah, well, collecting rainwater is outlawed. You guys know about that, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. see, here's, here's, here's the problem, though. Well, we don't want rainwater now anyway because it's still a little uh, aluminum. But. Well, yeah, but he, unfortunately... Most of the people will, well, being from being from this area, I can I can say from my own experience, most of the people would agree with you what you're saying, but when it comes time to it, they're still going to end up paying, because that's how yeah, the system works. They won't works. fight. They won't even show up at a, at a meeting. That's because the well, see, here's the thing though. I'm showing up with my son alone and fighting. I I, I I I would say the the one thing that fighting back. Yeah, you're not going to get a lot of support in that area other than talk because most people are too afraid. I mean, I'll give you an example. I gave us I, I was part of a debate that uh, took place here on Long Island a couple of years ago. It was uh, on health care when uh, uh, shortly it was shortly after Obamacare got rolled out and all that junk. But I took place in a debate that was supposed to be between uh, the local Republican celebrity, I can't remember the guy's name, and a, a Democrat, and my friend asked somebody with a more libertarian perspective to come in and give a third, you know, a third perspective on things. And I gave up there and gave a little speech, you know, gave my little open int introduction. And I, I looked at the entire crowd, and this was mostly, you know, middle-aged, I guess, you know, people from the 40s to 70s, somewhere in that neighborhood, um, mostly conservative, Tea Party-ish people who are always talking about stopping this stuff exactly what you're doing with the taxes and the and the cameras and the revenue generation they're always out there talking about it but i stood there and i looked at i looked them all in the eye and i asked them one question i said you know you guys are all upset about this thing and you know what are we going to do and you know we're just gonna we, we we can't we can't afford this tax but you're still going to pay it right and they all kind of nodded and i said and i looked at them i said are you all that afraid of your government that you're just going to sit there and do nothing but bitch. And every single person in that room looked at me and nodded their head. Yes. You know, and it was, it was this, it was expected, but still disheartening because here you have the yeah, people we're dealing with that same shit. We're dealing well, yeah. Cause we have the, 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 like the CSA, for example, I think they're actually in Suffolk County too. The, uh, yeah, conservatives, they, the conservative society for, uh, action or whatever they call themselves. Oh, all right. I'm not um, sure. Yeah, they are, you know, a bunch of, you know, middle-aged people and, and, and senior citizens that have been at this for a long time in the political game, always trying to get things changed and change and change. And they out and talk a big game and they'll go out and rally and they'll go out and they'll go out and um, yell at politicians, you know. But then when it comes time to actually actually doing something like you're doing, like physically getting out there and saying, well, listen, if they're not going to take these things down, then I'm just going to remove them myself. <laughs> you know, or, or 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 when it comes to like some of the tax situations or anything else, like all it would take is just a small percentage, maybe ten percent, 
of uh, yeah. any given population. If people, if people stood no. up, but, but we not, would only but, need a few people to stand up but that's to, the thing. to take out a, a whole corrupt government. But they don't even have to do anything. You, you don't even have to, like, there. you don't have to, like, change the people. You don't have to try to vote somebody else in. You just get that 10% to just say, no, I'm not paying this. This tax, you, go ahead, implement it. I'm not paying it, and neither are the rest of us. And if they and don't the get the money, is, they can't pay to That's kind of it. happening with red light cameras. I know that they've got probably a neighborhood of 30 million in unpaid red light camera tickets. Oh, yeah. Well, because like I said, people figured out that they can't actually, like, they can send you threatening letters and threatening letters and threatening letters, but that's all they can do. Well, no, because they can, they can do they can get yeah, they can fuck your credit up, but at the same oh, time, no, no. Uh, they, they, they they're going to they start. Can. They're going to start militarizing the police force, and this is going to be the I'll first start. step. They, they they're going to they they're start right. making them enforce the debt. That's they haven't so much in Suffolk. I haven't really seen any of the APCs or the tanks and shit like that that you see in other states. But I'm sure, I'm sure they have them. They just haven't rolled them out yet. You know, that the yeah, they're all at West system. Hampton, probably. Yeah. Well, I, I think the best thing we can do is 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 get these cops to humanize the citizens again. Well, well they're being pushed this narrative that the citizens, all citizens, want to kill them and hate them. Right. Well, it's a little different. Well, it is we, a little different out there. Cops have been treating me pretty damn good, so we just have to keep giving well, them all respect. The cops right the, now. That's, that's all we have to do. Let, let me ask you something though, because you, you, this actually brought up a point that you had mentioned earlier that I wanted to say something. You know, you talked about the cops saying that you know they're they're basically on your side about this. Well, here's the problem with that, though. They have a lot more pull than you do. All it would take is for them to say, these need to go. Right, but they're too afraid to do that. They won't do but, that. But, they but might see, again, totally agree with me, but the only but, way they can show it and show their support. Well, yeah, of course, well they're, yeah, they're, they're afraid of, unfortunately, they're afraid of losing their cushy job. Because no yeah. matter how nice they are, no matter how whatever, like I said earlier, they're the highest paid cops in the country and they don't do shit. Compared to what cops in the city, compared no, to what you, cops in the city do, one, those motherfuckers will go up in a tree and get a cat down, and then they'll be all, then that shit will be all over News Twelve. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they getting paid. They won't show them that the five nice. cops strangling a black guy. Well, no, but, no, but, that, yes. but see, no, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that stuff doesn't even really happen that much. Like, there's a couple of bad towns in. Yo, you heard that they called the task force in for that peacock? They had drones out and shit. Well, <laughs> because so they have to, the, because they have to justify the money they spent. What this is, it's, it's the tiptoe to tyranny. So every well, time they do something, like if they implemented a tyrannical, an entire tyrannical infrastructure overnight, people would flip the fuck out. But what they do is they do it one little thing at a time. So well, now, the the problem is, is is that they've been doing this the whole time. This isn't yeah, new. The problem is that nobody stepped well, up. Now it's fucking the, game on. You, know, you had now on the run. They can't go to trial with me now. <laughs> gonna get bitched. Danilo, you wanted to say something? <laughs> no, no, I was just, just going to say, like, uh, going well, back to Jeremy's point about my lawyer gave me uh, about no. Well, it, if you want permission, gave me permission to taunt them. Well, if you want, we'll see. I, see <laughs> actually, before Danilo, before you say that, cause, yeah, yeah, cause yeah. with that point, um, you know, the license that I read at the beginning of the show, you may want to look into that because uh, it seems like something could be right up your alley. Uh, the Bipcot No Government License is something a buddy of mine created um, that works like Creative Commons, except governments and government agencies are not allowed to touch it, look at it, do it, anything to it. And if they do, the only punishment is is they agree to be ridiculed in perpetuity. <laughs> <laughs> so what I, you're I doing already? Lawyer gave me permission to taunt them. He said that they can't do dick because no, of all no. the corruption I've exposed. <laughs> no, you can't. Wow. They can't do anything to you, man. Look. Nah. You're, you're the end of the, got a base you're the one standing everything. up, man. Well, they well, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say they can't do anything. No, they, they, they legally, definitely, legally, they definitely try to make me the mark if they haven't already. But at the same time, they can't they can't face me in trial because their own oh, no. freedom. They don't wanna, well, I no. just hope they don't sit a few cop cars outside of your house and just completely harass the shit out of you, man. I well, don't know. The cop cars, cop right. cars, give me respect. They've done that before. Yeah, we'll I'm see. That's see, yo, just so you well, know. We'll all that's done. fine and dandy until it becomes it, it, it till till you become uh, get in between a paycheck. So yeah. So, well, I don't. Think, well, I don't well, think right now we have to worry with the cops that are on the street. Well, no, that well, might no, be a problem with the new recruits because they have well, another no, shitload of cops in the academy right now, three times the size of a normal class size. That's the problem. Yeah, but but the one thing you got to remember, though, and I'm I'm not I'm not saying this like just, like freak out or anything like that, but just you, I, I would hope you would keep in mind is again 
having them on your side right now is great. But the other thing that you said that you should probably think a little bit more about is the fact that because why won't they speak up and say anything? Because they're afraid, right? Because yeah. they don't want to lose their jobs. That's the same reason why they might not hesitate if, if, to fucking if, come get me. If, 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 yeah, if an order comes down from on high that, listen, we need him taken care of or we just need him harassed or whatever. <laughs> Do you think those same guys are still going to want to be your friends? Like that's the pro- like that's that's the thing I worry about because it's it's great that they're that they're saying this to you now, and I hope they continue to for your sake. I really hope they do, because um, I mean I deal with like the Nassau cops. I'm not a big fan of. I would um, I would just I've, I would had, consider, I've, uh, I've had way Steve, too many nasty Steve, interactions just, with them. Steve, I just highly consider you know maybe sometime in the next uh, day or two. Go ahead and just make a Facebook post that says, I am not suicidal. I've never been suicidal, and I will never kill myself ever in the future, never now, ever. That's a really good point. I like that. Well, well, no, I mean, that way, if you just mysteriously died to two gunshots in the head because, you know, you were suicidal, make it. Everyone can go, look, holy shit, this guy said two weeks ago he wasn't suicidal. Yeah, it is fucking scary because if you think about all the parties involved, you have the county, you have the state. You got Xerox, yep. you got uh, mm-hmm. Glenwood Management, you got fucking Cablevision. All players. huge players <laughs> want to yeah. fucking hey, see well, me this Yeah, beer. Cablevision especially. But Dolan you, you money. already have this out. You already have this out in in the air, or at least what's going on in 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 Long Island. Okay, you it's already have this out in the ecosystem. The they they can't stop this by stopping you. This stopping you doesn't stop this. Okay, wow. it just doesn't. And they know that already. Well, that. He's, a, he's a major. There's not a lot of support. He's the right, major we don't player. have enough people standing up and see, speaking the truth. I thought, well, that, uh, right, people, right. It, like a, I thought that more people were involved in this, but I got to be honest, without him, none of this shit would be happening at all. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I, uh, I hope more people from I, Long Island see this well, and see I, that you have passion about this and get fired up. I, I took well the speech today and then the the evidence of the uh, legislator lying I think was awesome really awesome and uh, you know yeah. everything that we've got so far came from God let me guys let me give you a, a little uh, reference I don't know if you guys believe in God uh, I'm not you're, you're, you're on a, not a <laughs> you're, you're, you 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 turned the wrong quarter on that one uh, I, mean, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> not believe in God and I don't believe in God I'm I'm on the fence I don't yeah that's my view wait so. you do and you don't. He's a Dave. Dave's ag, Dave's agnostic. All right, well, check this out. I'll give you a couple. Well, this is a little strange. I'll tell you how it started. It started by my priest telling me he was getting abused by the cameras. That was the first thing. I then I made the video. I showed the video to my priest, and he liked it. Then after I started getting locked up and shit, my priest's nephew, and then we got a ton of cops, ton of detectives out here. Like everybody's a cop, and everybody's a detective. So, so my priest's brother's kid got assigned to be my lead detective. So that was okay. kind of crazy because it's like literally his brother's kid got assigned my case. Not that they're close, but it's just too close to be like What's still a connection. Another okay. thing that came came from uh, I think uh, like somebody helping me get this evidence out is on um, one day I had a Facebook friend tell me, "Oh, go to this location. They're retiming the lights after that horrible accident yesterday." And I said, I'll, I'm, "I'll be there as soon as I can. Why can't you just stop and take pictures of the license plates of the guys retiming the light for me?" And she was like, oh, I'm late for a doctor's appointment. I'm like, these fucking women. So uh, they all, everyone calls me. Even the men call me. Oh, I see somebody retiming a traffic light after a horrible crash there, but nobody will stop and take a picture. And that shit makes me crazy. They'll be like, oh, let me just call Robin Hood, and he'll swoop down and take some photos and videos. Bro, well, you call me call, right? Yeah, no doubt. But if I get phone call, calls, right? I've only called you once. But uh, but uh, that's because I was out in Nassau at Beth Page Bullpark, but. Never, so never we're trying to get photo evidence of them retiming the lights. Uh, yeah, we the, got it a little bit. The, yellow, the caution part. part. Yeah, you'll see it. This, this traffic agency guy calls me up. He works at the traffic agency. And he's like, Steve, what are you doing? I said, I'm uh, just chilling. I'm aggravated. And he didn't know why I was aggravated. It was because this, this girl wouldn't take a picture of that license plate for me. So uh, he says, what are you aggravated about? I told him. He goes, bro, go out and make a fucking video. He goes, they're repairing all the, the ca- damage you did across the street from the precinct because I didn't hesitate. We did the da- I did the damage right across the street from the precinct. I didn't hesitate. I was just taking out all the cameras. I didn't give a fuck. So the, I, I cut the <laughs> cable vision wires right at the precinct right there. So they're repairing them right at the precinct. And the, guy's trying, the guy that works at the traffic agency that, that works in prosecuting the same people for the same tickets tells me, go make a video, grow some balls. So I go make a video right there and it ended up being a really good video. So I was like, you know, this is good. Then I get a phone call from the guy from the Free Thought Project on Facebook. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm like, God's trying to help me out today. I tell my girlfriend, I'm like, God's looking out for me, you know? 
So I asked the guy from Free Thought Project what his birthday was because he was telling me how they were rooting for me in the back burner and shit behind the scenes. <laughs> and he tells me his birthday is January 11th. So I told him I'm a Capricorn. You know, I said John Luke, I mean, uh, John, uh, John Lang was killed on January 19th. And he started predicting his own death on my birthday, January 15th. And the camera was chopped down. I was charged with a felony for it twice on, uh, on January 19th or whatever, which was the same day that John Luke was killed. I said, you know what, honey? I said to my girlfriend, I said, go check to see when the guy's birthday was that, that called me from the agency, the traffic agency. I said, I'll bet you that shit's January 11th, right? The same as the guy from the Free Thought Project. She goes in Facebook. She's like, holy shit, you're right. His birthday is January 11th. I said, oh, no, wow. January 11th, that's mm -hmm. twice in one day. I said, it's going to come one more time when something else is going to happen on January 11th today. And she says, you think so? I said, yep. So mm -hmm. she goes to bed later on. It's probably like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. And I'm still up on the computer digging. And then all of a sudden, I, I got it. I was typing in Steve Levy, the old county executive before Steve Ballone, and I typed in red light cameras. And back in 09, our county, our town supervisor in Crookhaven, Ed Romaine, back in 2009, he was the first vote that was recorded on the red light cameras whether or not they should be introduced to Suffolk County. And so was the highway department superintendent who used to be a legislator, but now they're town supervisor and town highway superintendent, both making buku dollars. So I, I called them out. I said, you guys wouldn't take the vid discs of evidence proving people were getting killed in front of these cameras. And now it comes back that you were the original votes on the cameras. And it turns out the last time they took police super PAC funding was on January 11th on 2016. So we're talking about January 11th came up three times that same day. And it also brought me back to the guy, me, the town supervisor being on the original vote for the red light cameras back in 09. And it just all added up, and it seems to me, I'm not going to try and twist your arm, but <laughs> there's a little bit more than coincidence going on over here. Well, Especially well, there's with the always corruption in government, man. There's well, always no. corruption. Where there's oh, power, there is corruption. Well, I'm oh, talking about corruption. I'm talking about maybe divine intervention. <laughs> No, I, I see what you're saying, the synchronicity of all the dates and the time. No, that, I yeah, mean, it's, it's just crazy. I'm Three not, times in one day, the same date. Well, that I is knew wild. It, I knew it was going to happen like that. I felt it. So, well, no, yeah, the, the fact that you called it is even, yeah, the fact that you called it after the second one is even freaker. Of course. No, I mean, hey, I mean, I probably call myself an atheist for the most part, but I, I do. Now, it could have been agnostic, but, but it could have been me getting like some kind of intuition from spirits or some shit. But. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I guess, if anything, because I do, I've had experiences with like that video. Like I never made a video before when I pushed up the camera. I said, This is gov government taking advantage, and it's going to stop. I, I never, that, dude, I, I never love that, that video. It got shared on our page, it got shared in our groups yep. and stuff. Thank you. I, was I never like, made a video more of this, that. please. Well, my friends called me up. They said that video is going to get you locked up. I said, "Well, that's a, it's a fight I'm willing to take. I'm willing to take that fight on." And well, I hey. had a feeling that they would get bitched. And now, <laughs> <laughs> well, man, listen, <laughs> we, now we I, can't wait to bitch them. This the the, the thing is, <laughs> like, like I said before, <laughs> all this type of stuff. I mean, the red light cameras, any of this stuff that you're that you're dealing with, that that you and other people are pissed off about, that that they're not willing to change because they're making money. The you know the you're getting corrupt the, campaign contributions from. Well, them. well, yeah, they they all do in some form. They all end up getting some money somehow, some way. Oh, so I want to give you if, guys another strategy, but I hate to interrupt you. Go ahead. Oh no, no. I mean, well, I was just gonna say if. I mean, if you know, if there's enough things you're ticked off about that that people that they're just not going to listen to you about, all there really needs to be, and it sucks that there isn't. But I mean, I talk about this all the time, and I have to tip my hat to you because you took the, I took I took the red light camera fight on a couple of years ago. I took a different strategy with it, though. I tried to prove them to be completely full of shit um, <laughs> by by challenging it on the constitutional grounds, and they refused to even hear it on that. Yeah, so it's, it's really. Corrupt. I ended up. I, so ended I, thought up getting, that, I thought that taking it to the criminal court would be better, but it's only better if the if the media gets well, involved. No. It's difficult yeah, but, to get the media involved because well, the media is corrupted. Yeah, well, it's, well yeah, News 12 is Cablevision makes the money off the cameras. Cablevision News, has News 12 is, is a mess. Of course. So the only thing I only cut the Cablevision wires. I only cut the Cablevision wires strategically because I wanted to be able to say on <laughs> camera that I only cut the Cablevision wires. Well, no, that's just, I mean, <laughs> no, and and you're do, but but what I'm but, saying uh, is I want to tell you is... my next strategy, which was the well, women. I'm trying to get women involved by going through the moms groups. Oh, yeah. But they don't well, even accept my requests. Either. Yeah. I want to find the MILF groups. <laughs> <laughs> well, Danila might be your guy for that one. Moms, they don't fuck the, around. 
Yeah, they're I want to get not, the moms involved, but it's not easy because they're like sh- they're sheeping it up, you know. And they're all well, they all have like their own. Oh, I don't want to get involved. It's too political. Listen, you're the one that pays the bills. That's why I'm reaching out to you because while your husband's working every day, you're paying the bills, and you're the one that sees that the only affordable bill we have right now is a water bill. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, they they, all, they jack and the that's water be gone already too. here. But well, no. Well, I, the one thing I just wanted to say though, I mean, you're. I mean, yeah. I I've tried to get. The only time, the only time I was able to, to get in contact and, and get some motivation from the, the women's groups here on Long Island was when it came to Common Core. Then they were all up in arms. Then they wanted to do stuff. Uh, but but you're right. Unfortunately, a lot of the other things they're just going to ignore. But- you know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna go with that. We're gonna say Stephen Ruth is Common Core. <laughs> or, or do I have to say isn't common core? I don't know. Is it, yeah, no, they, they're getting right, common Stephen core. Isn't so. common core? There you it's go. Hardcore. Um, but the, but the <laughs> what, 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 all we all, all that's really needed is more people like you because I mean I talk about this all the time. I said it earlier with the ten percent. You don't you don't have to be violent. You don't have there doesn't have to be a, there doesn't have to be a war. There doesn't have to be anything other than a small percentage of a population just standing up together right. and saying, and I nope. try and make it an open invitation. Like I try and keep it funny. I try to keep it up like light. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be barking at people i try and keep it comical like yeah. when i i smile on camera like i mean yeah it's, yeah like your like first video talk. definitely wasn't like fuck them fuck this i'm doing exactly. this. Fuck you, I'm, trying, I'm trying i try to make like, it welcoming you know i try to make yeah, it welcome. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'll try to get murder, some people the murder angle, the, the people dying it. because of these red light that angle is the best angle to go well because, yeah because americans cherish life more than any anybody that i've i've been yeah. around as far as like, uh, especially affluent areas, like when life is involved, they really get upset. Yeah, like you the can kid rob them the blind, but the minute someone John dies, it's like holy shit. A lot of people died. A lot of people died, and uh, I can name a lot of people that died. You know, I ran into the county executive the other day, and uh, I got to walk. He was he was giving a, a, a class to a, he was giving a speech to a class full of kids and their parents, and Tim Bush, Tim Bishop was there, the guy that lost to Lee Zeldin. And um, mm-hmm. I was walking toward the classroom. I was a half hour late, and he was in the middle of, middle of his lecture. And uh, I was walking down a 100-foot lo- long hallway straight to him, and I wasn't wearing a jacket, just a shirt and tie. And I got to fucking Terminator walk in him, and I Terminator walked in him for 100 <laughs> feet. And then I grabbed the seat in the, in the classroom, and I just started raising my hand. And the fucking guy was taking my questions. So I asked him why they never struck the quota from the contract, you know. And I asked him why the lights were shortened. Everybody knows the lights was, was short. The lights were shortened for revenue, and that people were killed, and none of the families were ever to see videos or nothing. And I didn't go too hard on him with the uh, police super PAC money or the Glenwood management money. I didn't go too hard on him like that. I just stuck to the fact that shit wasn't struck from the quota, and the legislators never read the contract. And I thought that that was professional misconduct, and I'm sure it is. And um, yeah. the fucking guy kept taking my questions. And I was like, wow, this guy's gotten for punishment, you know? And in the end, I got up close with him after it was all over and the kids left. The kids said to me, you know, we just wish you weren't as confrontational as you were. And I was like, I was <laughs> trying to be as composed and professional as possible. I was trying yeah. to be, I'm sitting there raising my hand like, <laughs> I can yeah, you could have been up front being like, you're a murderer. Like, you're a murderer. Yeah. And they're like, holy shit, how could you do that? You opposed anything he said. Well, like, that, yeah. Doesn't add up. I mean, the yeah, shit he's well, talking you- doesn't add up. I'm, so yeah, but what is that? Said, what is, what is, all, what is these are students who are like, why you didn't question the yes. line, man? What? Well, yeah, well, that, yeah. What does that tell you about that group of it's kids? Bad. So, in the end, he in the end, he was talking to me face to face, Steve Ballone, and I got to see the fucking Hillary demon hit in him. The same Hillary <laughs> demon. Yo, the Hillary demon came out. I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit, yo, no fucking around. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> yeah. it, it, you know my my my, uh, my strategy to this is, is similar to Jeremy in that in that uh, you get a small percentage of the population that are just unwilling to comply with these fines, and you know I think that can that can have a major major impact. Well, like, you know, like I, said, we I mean this is great. This is great as possible. This fight, and and we're not getting enough women involved. Well, we need well, more women will will fight. What I'm trying to do right now is get him a, a microphone. That's the next thing we're going to do. We're gonna and get a, a camera, like, like a legit Mark mic Dice and camera. Goes. You know how Mark Dice goes up on the street and he yeah yeah. People? We want right. them to do ambush journalism on people who voted for this shit. Just run up to them and just put the mic right in their face and ask them like the most outrageous questions. Like, like, are you aware that you're murdering people for money? Uh-huh. Like, shit like that. Like, if they walk away, they lose. If they make a comment, they lose. They literally can't win with that video of them walking up. <laughs> well, I, I would. Yeah, but I can't. I was trying to get that. I can't get, get it. It's crazy. You know, we got, it's like you know, this shit. It adds up between. 
the lawyer fees, the court fees, the fine. Code violations. They got five grand of code violations in the past month. And if you get, you, uh, wow. Do you have any? Do you have any GoFundMe's or anything like that going? What? Do you have any GoFundMe's or anything like that going? Down because I'm facing criminal down. charges. You violated the TOS by putting in there that it was legal fees or something like that. Yeah. I didn't see hmm. what they so said. So they but. they bitched me. I, I, but, I hope you keep. I hope you keep pressing forward, man. I, I I would encourage you to check into some libertarian stuff, man. I, I think oh, we, you, are, we are. We are. I just met up with um, John McAfee, you know, the other day. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, John nice. McAfee's a really cool dude. Nice. My son and him seems like a real cool cat. And I met up with some other uh, libertarians, and uh, they seem like really good people. And they're just regular people that have had enough. And that's that's basically where I stood. I've had enough. I pay $40,000 every six months in property taxes. And that shit makes me fucking pissed off. $40,000 every six months. And it's these motherfuckers throw mad yeah. violations at me. Boom, boom, boom with violations. Well, oh, you left the garbage out in front of your house? It's not me. Well, you, well, you know why? Because you know what that $40,000 is? That's rent. You're paying rent for this to the state for stuff that you think you own. You don't own it. You're renting it from them, right. well, and that's why that's they're able to hit you. Out. That's why they're able to hit you with charge after charge after charge because it's their property. According to them, it's their it's their property, yeah, not you're yours. Right. Crazy. <laughs> this is what made me like. And when I walk into the tax receiver's office, all of the girls stand up and give me an ovation. They all stand up and clap for me. <laughs> See, crazy. but it's legit. The people in the town. Where they're giving me code violations left and right because of the political pressure they're under by the Democratic Party. When my township is controlled by Republicans, they're coming after me because the Democrats are telling them to come after me. And then, and then the, the the Republican GOP president John, John Laval tells the legislators to say how they want to see me prosecuted. It is just yep. two parties working as one party it's, against it's the one people. party. That's all. It's it's, it's one been party. one. It's, it's That's been one why party. I definitely was recruited by the Libertarians, and I I look. I, I did that. He did. He recruited me. <laughs> you know, they. I liked what they had to say, and they were the only ones with open arms for me. Everyone else was like, "Yeah, well, we want you to go fuck yourself." Well, yeah, we were, we were, we were big supporters of you, man. We we had a like. I'm telling you, dude. Like everyone was like, "Hell yes." Yeah, Thanks. mostly Thanks li 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 libertarians and anarchists love what you do. Let me tell you something. The sheriff's <laughs> offices, the sheriff's offices inside the jail, offered to bail me out out of respect. Wow. wow. Like nice. I said, I, I want them to well, see so you know what? Since they since 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 they they have to know that they're tr they're they're trying to get pushed, they're trying to push them out. Well, I don't know. I don't know what exactly they know and don't know, but what I can tell you is they've got to see the writing on the wall. It's fucking crazy. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, the if they're going to support you, they should probably they should probably consider stepping up just not just praising you behind the scenes they yeah, should yeah, consider no stepping they should, up they should step and, up because it's taking their jobs away so <laughs> exactly they could be they could be part of that 10 percent i was talking about and just oh, yeah. it, they don't have to be violent they don't have they don't even have to use the freaking oh, no, guns no, they no. just Computers have to say no issue in violations and not human police officers so wouldn't the human or wouldn't the police uh unions be against the red light cameras anyways well, the police well, no. unions are the problem. The police unions are the mafia no, bosses. They, the no, police, the police union, union bosses aren't cops. They're mafia oh, bosses. No. Oh, yeah. The police union. No, the police, get a, they get a, the police unions get a nice chunk of that money. Well, the police that union and the, the detective cameras. union combine forces to be one superhuman. And they are the, by far the, the <laughs> biggest power in lobby, lobbying in Suffolk. They, they definitely control yeah, all definitely. the votes. And, and the if union, everyone union stopped president, their groups. power would dissipate tomorrow. It's so yeah. funny. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Everybody just ten percent. Just stop paying. I want to get back to business. I have to do a couple of things still. I have to uh, try oh, and contact that, these moms groups and and try and that's get great, involved man. and so forth. Oh, but, I'm gonna uh, stay. I'm gonna stay in touch with you, and I'm gonna try to hook you up with some of the people I know in Nassau County. Maybe we can get them a little more thank motivated. You. Thank and, uh, you trying very to help. Much. We really appreciate any um, help we got. You know, if Nassau I, gave me more support, yeah, no this is the, this is the guy's honest truth. If Nassau gave me more support, I would have stepped up and pushed up a camera in Nassau and taken on the program in Nassau as well. But when people don't well, give support, they don't get it. I, I may just go ahead and and and, and do that for you, because um, they put one on my corner and it's been oh. pissing me off for a while. Ooh. So <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you stand behind your action. The oh, only I reason am, it's worked for I, me this far is because I never ran from them. I always stood behind my actions. You you and I, I you and I should you and I should you, should, you and I should talk some more. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the idea of standing behind what they do. I mean, they like the I idea do, of using I, like I a a paintball gun or preach, something. I. I I, listen, I I, I, pre, I preach non-compliance on national radio a couple times a week. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid of the repercussions. You know, you <laughs> That's know, not yeah, it's issue. not just that. It's the legal uh, monetary. Oh, no, again. The monetary repercussions. Oh, no. Yeah, well, uh, well, that's that, that's why that's why it's good to have pro bono lawyers. Like you know, yeah, you have to find somebody willing to work for you pro bono. <laughs> I already have it. <laughs> I have <Yeah>. family. <laughs> Luckily, well, that's, that's um, but, you, but seriously, me. we're gonna let you. We're gonna let, we'll let you run. But thank you very much. I really appreciate well, you giving us the time Alan. tonight. Thanks. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot, Steve. We'll, uh, I'll, like I said, I'll definitely be in touch. Uh, yeah. Um, Check out the and, uh, YouTube channel. And watch us chasing these mercs. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get all the information. I'm enjoying watching. I, I live in the all, <laughs> all the all the links are gonna be in the show notes. Uh, so I'll put I'll put links to the YouTube channel and everything else there. Um, so everybody else can check this out, and hopefully we can drum up even more support for you, and hopefully more people around the country uh, will start taking more uh, serious measures uh, and and trying to prove this point. So. Well, thank Good you, stuff. guys. Thank awesome. you very much for trying to get the word out because we really need all the uh, support we can get with that. No all right, much problem, respect, man. gentlemen. You yeah. can hit us up anytime if you want us back yeah. on. Great. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, Good, Good luck with you guys. Guys. Hopefully in about six months, you'll have have more revelations to reveal. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. As soon as we get them, we'll throw them up something. on Facebook. Yeah. But, yeah, all thank right, you man. very much, guys. All right. Have a well, good night. I guess we're gonna let Danilo yeah. talk for a good solid. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just. I'm just listening. I'm, I'm just here listening. Listen to um, Danilo. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I heard of him. But uh, but all right. Very cool guy. Um. All right. So we'll just finish up. Anything else you want? You guys want to say? I enjoyed, um, well, I enjoyed our guest. <laughs> that was uh, it was it, it took us quite a while to get uh to get on here um but uh, and we had to use blab which i'm normally not a fan of but at least we got to have the conversation uh so that was good um i uh he's a whirlwind man <laughs> yeah he's, he's, um, he's, he's excited i can tell that no i know but you know oh, what yeah. he like i said he's i he, he definitely needs to get more exposure so hopefully we'll be able to get him a little bit more and uh, I will definitely try to rally whatever troops I know that are still over here in Nassau County and see if they want to go over that way and help him out a little bit. Uh, the only other thing I have uh, that I was going to mention at the beginning, but I did just, did just want to get rolling because I know we only had Stephen for a limited amount of time, is that when I mentioned the Bipcot in the beginning, uh, I want to take this opportunity to trash a state agent who has violated the Bipcot license. Uh, one officer, Mike Byers from the Azusa Police Department in California. This guy is the social media manager for policeone.com uh, and writes all these articles about how, you know, how, how, how other cops should deal with their uh, Facebook pages and their other social media presence and stuff like that. And then he took it upon himself to write an article about cell 411 the wonderful app that is out uh, available through the Google Play Store uh, that can help replace the police to a certain extent. And uh, he obviously did not read the license before using the app because the <laughs> the Civil 411 app is not covered knowing the, the law license. is no excuse. It, well, exactly. Ignorance <laughs> of the Bipcot is no excuse, <laughs> Officer fucking Byers. <laughs> so, uh, I op, I took He's the a opportunity. Feet stink. Yes. Well, I tried to reach out to Officer Byers through his Twitter. Uh, that he had on all of linked on all of his pages. Now, mind you, this is the social media director for police one.com. Uh, I followed the link from his Twitter on his page, which took me to a Twitter account that had eight followers, no picture and hadn't had, didn't have a single tweet. Apparently that was his original Twitter account. He set up a second one, but the social media director couldn't figure out to put the right Twitter account on every post he's ever made. <laughs> it wasn't until Michael Dean and I made fun of him on the air on the Freedom Fiends that miraculously the next time we looked, all of his Twitter addresses had been changed to the correct one. So I took mm -hmm. the opportunity to go there and a bunch of other people went there and tried to give them a piece of our mind. Now, mind you, I was polite to an extent, um, but I wasn't like cursing at him and I wasn't doing anything. And also, uh, among the other articles he's written, one he wrote recently was how police departments should deal with their social media and how they should not ban people 
unless they're being blatantly obscene and making death threats and stuff like that. But they should leave all other criticisms up. I he agree. proceeded to blo- he proceeded to block me and everybody else that had a criticism of him, no matter how how benign, no matter. Well, how you were on Twitter, not Facebook. Like, uh. but, no, no, he gave it to all social media. He oh, was okay. About okay. all social media, and he promptly blocked us. Uh, but I told him that I wasn't done with him. So Officer Mike Byers of the Azusa, Azusa Police Department in California, you can suck a dick, you potato head. Uh, you have violated the Bipcot, and you have opened yourself up to ridicule, public ridicule, in perpetuity. So get used to it, Tubby. That is all for now. I'm sure I'll have more next week. I, I have nothing else to say. Asshole. Well said. Uh, cell four one one is an awesome app. I've, yes, uh, if you don't have it yet, go I, download I, it. I didn't. I didn't yeah. want it to have my phone number, but whatever. Yeah. No. No. I, I highly support it, and uh, I hear it's pretty pretty popular in South Africa, where it's sorely needed. It is huge in um, South Africa right now. It right. is literally saving lives in South Africa. So the cops. Wow. And, all the detractors that are trying to trash this thing and saying it's a, it's putting people in danger. Yeah, bullshit. Mm-hmm. It is saving lives where the where the cops don't go or don't exist anymore. And there's plenty of areas here in the states where the cops just don't go Detroit. because it's gotten so cough, bad. Cough. Memphis, well, no, and, cough, cough. Well, any of there, there's 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 certain sections of of all the major cities. For the longest time, mm-hmm. it was what uh, what's it Brownsville out out uh, out in New York where. Pff, Cops didn't want to go there. <laughs> they Camden, want, Camden, like that, was, that that was. I remember when when I the one time I went to take I went to I went to take the police test because a buddy of mine was going because his dad was making him go and of course he was doing whatever his dad said, um, and he just begged me to go. He begged anybody to go, and finally he begged and begged and begged. He said, "Fine, I'll go take the test with you." And this was years ago, but I never had any intention of becoming a cop. But I just said, "Fine, I'll go take it." But I remember taking with him and then waiting for the results and him being like freaking out about the results and all he kept saying is over and over again i hope i don't get stuck there i hope i don't get stuck there because that's where his dad got stuck when he started and that's like a death like all the cops know that's like a death sentence like if you get started off there like that's either you're either going to toughen up in a hurry and get transferred out or you may get killed (laughs) and uh or it's a punishment if you're if you've been on the force for a while and you're somewhere else and you do something really egregious that pisses off the higher ups that's where you get sent so like those places exist in every town right now. So like cell four one one could be saving people's lives there, but the cops want to paint it as something that's that's dangerous because and and just like with ways they're trying to have it they're trying to find ways to have it shut down because they claim that somebody could use the app to target police, and just because somebody could do that, it needs to be taken away from everybody. Well, we should okay. ban nu- nuclear nuclear energy because if you know one person gets a hold of it, oh, plenty of people want to. All right, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for tonight. <laughs> right. Well, <clears throat> cell four one one, awesome app. Uh, Ways, awesome app. I use it a lot. So, uh, highly recommend anyone use these peer to peer programs. Help help yourselves out. Divorce yourself from the government monopoly as much as you can. Yep. Live, live free and independent. You're all beautiful people. <laughs> all right, Adam. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. All Positivity, right, so, man. I love it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, all right. So, it, um, so if anybody wants to help us out, uh, you can do so through uh, Bitcoin or Patreon. Patreon.com slash Seeds of Liberty to help us out. Dollar show is all we ask. Uh, if you find value in our content, please feel free to donate. Uh, free time is not free. There's opportunity cost with everything we do, right? If we're doing something, we're not doing something else, right? So monetary compensation is always encouraged and appreciated. Helps us to get motivated. (laughs) So thanks a lot, everyone, for the uh, support and for listening. This is the Seeds of Liberty podcast. Wishing everyone have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Bye. Cell 411 is a free app for Android and iOS that replaces government-controlled 911. Cell 411 allows you to preset a group of friends or private organizations to show up in any emergency. Cell 411 is a nightmare for the state because it proves their so-called services aren't needed. Cell 411 has had thousands of installs, and of course it's covered by the Bipcot No Government License. 
itself 411 because your friends won't shoot you when you're in trouble. Without the government, who would build the emergency services? You and Cell 411. Get it today at GetCell411.com. That's GetCell411.com. 